some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in California with uh, the fraudster known as Nasty Nathaniel. As he attempts to audit a jack-in-the-box, oh, uh, yeah, I mean, they're going after anything these days, I mean... But what do you expect from frauditors anyway? No brains, no jobs, no hope. But at any rate, he ends up encountering the wrong one at the drive through The man gives the frauditor a much-needed shower. Nasty Nathaniel, out here in the beautiful and very hot Kern Valley. Joining me is Matthew the King. And right now we're going to be conducting a First Amendment audit of Jack in the Box. Yeah! We're going to make sure that our friends at Jack in the Box, or Jack in the Crack, as some people like to call it, respect and honor our constitutionally protected right to record what we can see in a public space. Because if they don't, well, I might have to stick Jack on them. Sign right there lets us know exactly where we are. This is Jack in the Box, not Jack at the Box, or Jack on the Box. It's Jack in the Box. Nasty Nathaniel is one of those more annoying frauders that I generally don't cover most of the time. He's pretty much a ver another version of uh, Silence Boy, and we all know how much of a royal pain in the ass he can be, and, uh, well, this guy is pretty much his butt buddy because they have hung out together on a few occasions. And it's also definitely not Whataburger. I don't know if I can handle eating at a Whataburger because I can barely pronounce it. But if it was a Whataburger, I know some front one, blah, oh God. The ultimate margarita is already kicking in. <laughs> I was going to say something ridiculous, but I think I've already goofed the floof on that one. <laughs> Sorry about that, folks. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is Jack in the Box. Uh, Jack in the Box has a long history. Uh, the company was founded in 1951. Yeah, I wouldn't get my information about a company from a low-life frauditor uh, with no job whatsoever or anything like that. I mean, it'd be probably completely wrong. If you want a better channel to uh, uh, find out about a lot of companies, I would suggest this channel called The Company Man. And mostly because, well... He doesn't go out and annoy the people he's trying to talk about. And his content is very intriguing and very informative as well. Oh, we got another car. Oh, it's a white car. So we go from uh, a black car to a white car. Like, kind of makes me think of the Michael Jackson song, Black or White. Hey, how's it going? Oh, okay. huh? I can't hear you. You have to come a little closer. Uh-oh, somebody's getting hot and bothered. Uh. Whoa. Oh, they got his phone. <laughs> Holy moly, lost his phone. Holy moly, yeah, he lost his phone. Hey, watch your language, come on. Oops, you lost your cell phone, but that's all right. Uh, he was intending to throw something else at you, uh, frauditor, and it would have made you smell a lot better than you do now. And that's saying something, considering that a lot of times I get emails about people who've encountered these frauditors, and uh, they tell you that these guys have a quite pungent B.O. Hey, you're in public, brother. We can record whatever we want. Well, shut the blinds. You don't want to be on tape? I'm in public. I'll shut you up. Yeah, and you'll be in jail. You want to go to jail? You want to go to jail? Yeah, you want to go to jail? Well, I'm, I'm actually a Caucasian. Okay, well, I guess you don't get what you know what. You know where I'm from? Where? Oh, it's LA. Damn. All right. Right on. And I'm from Honolulu, Hawaii, so what do you, what do you know about that? You know, frauditors have such a nasty attitude. In fact, I'm sure that if they walk around in certain actual tyrannical countries, they wouldn't last five minutes in them because the police would definitely come by and make them disappear forever. But luckily, uh, we live in the United States where uh, these idiots are tolerated. And if they weren't, like I said, they would be erased from existence. 
But you know what? Uh, I digress because, you know, this gentleman right here is about to aid the frauditor in his little B.O. problem. East side. Wow. And that's the walk of shame. Yeah, he's going to do the, uh-oh. Uh Was he going to, like, throw this, like, soda can at us or... I'm not talking. We're just out here taking pictures on the goddamn sidewalk. Dude, you touch don't me, you go to jail. Him. Don't touch him. You so touch much. me, you go to jail. Frauditor, I don't think this uh, gentleman right here wants to touch you. I think he just wants to give you a nice little beer bath at this point. Because, you know, all that BO is rather repulsive to everybody, including those who interview you for jobs, dude. I mean, he's only trying to help you out by helping you find a job. He's trying to help you get cleaned up so that way you'd have better job prospects and not be such a bum all the damn time. Touch me. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. Oh, ah! oh wow. You fucking dropped your phone out of the car. You tried to throw a can. Are you drunk? Hey, you're not those. Wow. Steal, steal, way to steal my life. I know you are, but what am I? Fucking TV Herman. Wow. Herman Heavy. <laughs> Get out of here. I can smell his beer on me. Now I can smell his beer on me. Now I got his beer on me. Well, Nathaniel, you should be uh, thanking this gentleman because, well, he actually helped you out. Now you smell a lot better than you did before. I mean, uh, would you rather smell beer or body odor at this point? So there's the evidence right there. There's the uh, Modelo beer that uh, Mr. L.A. Eastside or whatever he said he was threw at me. Wow. Okay, we're going to have to bag that, put that in the, uh, the evidence bag and... Uh, <laughs> send it to the uh, Jack in the Box Bureau of Investigation. Well, he goes to complain to the Jack in the Box staff, but uh, it really doesn't help him out in this particular scenario. I mean, he really should be grateful for that man. I mean, he did try to help him with his uh, little problem, but you know what? I guess uh, some people just don't want to be helped with their lives. I mean, they think they got it all under control. But you know what? When you have a bad case of body odor like that, you might as well just go ahead and become a frauditor anyway, because nobody will touch you. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?